Welcome back, people of YouTube. This will be the last in my first little set of Windborn videos, so anything you've told me, I will be getting after this one. Uh, probably should have said that sooner. I'll try to remember that next time. Um, and I'll probably try to do smaller batches, and look at all that gemstone over there. But anyway... Uh, as I said last time, we will be starting this episode off by seeing what we've got in this chest. Hopefully something interesting. Um, not then too much. Some granite, some sandstone, nothing we couldn't get, some iron. Ah, uh, but this scroll is nice. I should have seen it. Highborn thin railing. Um, anyway, let us grab this artifact chest, I believe it's called. Relic chest. Eh, close enough. Anyway. Don't see too many of those, although there is a lot of stuff to explore. But anyway, more gemstone. Um, I suppose we'll finish this off and then... Oops, that didn't finish. And then... We will try to go, uh, finish the, uh, we'll go make our fine highborn shrine, which will let us make fine highborn items. Ooh, there's a lot of gemstone here. Yeah, we are going to be good for a bit gemstone wise um, really after we get our six sapphires we're pretty good we'll have accumulated enough of the the common item that I don't think we'll have too much of a problem with that and emerald is kind of useful after um, this it could be used to make the best blade in the game so far um, and we will end up with a lot of extra emeralds so like I think when I finished off my shrines I had like almost 50 spare emerald um, let's grab a little coal while we're here and then head back oh there's more gemstone never mind let's get the rest of this any one more um jeez this is a lot of gemstone yeah glad I saw this and uh so I'm kind of happy about the chest because I probably would have kept going if I hadn't seen that highborn chest. Actually, I probably would have teleported back if I hadn't seen that highborn chest. Well, no, no, I still need more gemstones. So I wouldn't have done that, but it's definitely likely that I would have missed that gemstone if I hadn't stopped for that highborn chest. Um, that seems to be about it. So let us go back home. Um. I didn't get all that much gemstone, but that's a decent start. Uh, should get us enough emeralds to make the next level of shrine. Um, but let us start. So, um, what else can we do? What do we have recipes for? Um, I want uh, toggle off all the toggle on the highborn set. We do not have a highborn door yet. We do have roof. However, I do believe there's a mission for building roof, so I'm going to wait till we get that to start crafting. Anyway, it wanted us to activate the shrine, and then we're going to need it to build the... Well, um, I'm going to leave that out just in case we decide to do anything. Yeah, we already have a sapphire. That's great. Only five more needed until they add more stuff, more sapphire to be used with. Uh, mostly, we're going to be waiting on that second emerald. Um... Actually, while we do that, let me just let us discuss uh, other things. Um, other than Windborn, I've been thinking about doing. This is pretty much just grass. Do we? I don't think we did. This is just grass. Anyway, um, other things I'm thinking about doing are uh, um. Elder Scrolls stuff. Uh, I was kind of thinking of doing kind of a, a 
set of series, uh, starting either with Morrowind or Arena, depending on uh, what it seemed like people wanted to see, um, and then going from there all the way through to Skyrim. Um, mm, probably not doing anything with Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, kind of just want to stick to the main series, and I don't know that I'll be getting it. Looks like it might be interesting, but uh, I don't know. I'm just not comfortable with a game from Bethesda that isn't capable of being excessively modded. Um, but I suppose we will see if Bethesda is capable of releasing a game that isn't completely riddled with bugs. <laughs> uh, anyway, other than Morrowind, well, Elder Scrolls stuff, uh, other than that I was thinking maybe uh, definitely Dark Souls 2. Not immediately because that'll be kind of close to exams for me. But uh, after after finals, I uh, definitely would start doing Dark Souls 2 videos. Maybe uh, working our way towards Dark Souls 2. Uh, while we were waiting, I could maybe play some uh, Dark Souls. Um, we definitely uh, put the put that on hold when dark when we start doing Dark Souls 2 but uh, uh we might finish up afterwards um but we'll see what people want with that as well other things um what do I have game wise um that I was thinking about doing uh so I can think of right now Pretty sure there's a couple of others, and if I remember them by next time, I will mention those then. But, um, just, I don't know, thoughts on what people might like to see? Um, it'd be, definitely be good to get some input on the, the Elder Scrolls thing, if people would be interested in seeing that, or if, uh, Uh, and, and from what point? You know, starting with Arena or starting with Morrowind. Uh, if we start with Morrowind, we probably won't go back for Arena and Daggerfall. But, yeah, we could. But, uh, definitely like to hear about that soon. As well. But anyway, we probably have more than enough emeralds now. In fact, our stuff is probably... Nope, not quite done. Blade wore out. Oh, uh, actually, we have two sappers. We could even make a... Superb altar at this point. But I don't think we will just this moment. Oh, we also have enough emeralds for all the shrines. Are we gonna get enough from this? Yes, we have enough emeralds for all of the. Sh to make uh, one of each fine shrine. And we also learned emerald blade, but emeralds are a little too valuable to us at the moment. But anyway, so we will pick up this. Actually, let's look at. So, um. You can see these items here. They have just sort of a normal little thing right there. Those are the common items and are made with the common Highborn Shrine. These with the green little symbol here are fine items and you need a fine shrine. And I don't think we've gotten a superb item yet, but the superbs will have a little blue thing and they'll need a superb shrine to make. So anyway, let us make our fine Highborn Shrine and move on with the game and looking at my timer it seems like we spent a maybe a little too much time talking about what I was planning on doing for other series but um ah uh, there we there we now have a fine highborn shrine and we have completed a mission what is our next one ah doors and roofs Highborn Pillar. Um. So, yeah, we can go do that now. 
and we'll more or less finish off the house. Now, the roofs are a bit weird. I imagine they'll change how they work later, but I kind of would have liked to have a you know just a little rim on the edge and then sort of a flat roof, but they don't really work like that. So I'm kind of just gonna have to build a one big giant pointy roof. Uh, but yeah, um, craft a door. What do we need for a door? We need wood planks and iron. I've got the iron on me. I need wood planks. Um, craft. We now have a door to our house. We are... I don't know. <laughs> We've made it. <laughs> we have a door. That's, uh... That's the, uh... I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna stop now. Um... Roof blocks. What do I need for those? Oddly enough, granite. Uh, do we not have any granite? Okay, well, in that case, we need to make some granite bricks. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have quite enough granite bricks to do anything before the episode ends. Uh, I hate to just kind of do whatever until then. Um, but yeah, apparently we will not have our house finished quite yet. But uh, let us go collect resources we will need in the future. But um, so anyway, if we don't finish the house, which it's looking like we won't in this episode, Definitely will next episode because it's just the roof, um, which we're just waiting on getting the materials for. I just don't think we're going to have enough materials to make the roof before we finish this episode. Because we got like two minutes left. But, um, just gather random materials, I don't know. So yeah, just remember, if you care at all, tell me you know, what you'd like to see. Would you like to see me do some Dark Souls? I do kind of need some practice with that. It's been a while since I played it. I played it on the PS3, so Dark Souls 2 on the PC is going to be a bit weird. I played a little of Dark Souls on the PC, but not a lot. So yeah, de definitely want to play a little Dark Souls to get readjusted to a, a Souls game and to get an idea of what it's like to play on the PC. Um, but yeah, it's getting really close to the end of the episode, so I'm gonna go check and see if we have enough granite bricks to feasibly make our roof. Might just get started or something if we don't. I feel, I guess I have not made granite stuff before. I swear I had. Anyway, um, we can make a few of these. Not too many. But I'll uh, give us a start for our roof. Um,. Ugh. It's gonna place weird if I. Oh, crud. Okay, what's going on? Oh, I'm clicking in the wrong breaking button. That's not where you go. Ugh. So, uh, one of the things I hear that is going to eventually be in here is flying. Which is going to be nice for things like this. There we go. First one is important for orienting. Or not. Uh curses. 
Okay. Well, uh, that's gonna have to be it for now. Um, we'll deal with frustrating roof orientation uh, next time. Uh, so yeah, bye for now.